Well, hello everyone, Lock Gardener Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And in this video here, I just wanted to show you guys how to tell the difference between white root hairs on your newly emerged seedlings or mold on your um, newly hatched armored seedling. I'm sleepy. <laughs> This is going to be a fun video. So it's always fun when I'm sleeping. So thank you so much guys for tuning in and let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Alright, so in this video here, um, so when I first started growing seedlings and I saw the white hairs, I immediately thought it was mold. And there's so many seedlings that I threw away because, and this is when you're growing seedlings indoors, outdoors, but we mostly mo notice it when we're growing seeds indoors. So right now I'm growing my seeds indoor. I, I don't know if I posted the video or not. I don't know. Um, I did, I think two rolls of broccoli two rolls of cauliflower I threw some more mustard seeds out and right after I did that the hurricane and the and the storm and the rains we didn't get the hurricane here but we got the rain and the winds here um, in Georgia and it just washed all my seedlings away so I'm running a little bit behind schedule and what I wanted to do so in order to keep my schedule my fall schedule as close as I want it as it could possibly be I decided to go ahead and start my seeds my fall seedlings inside because we have another round of storms that's coming up as well um or a, a lot of bad weather that's supposed to come come back as well so um in order for me to just control the climate and then get my i hate transplanting i don't like transplanting uh, i feel like it weakens my plants but you know that's fine i love to direct so all my seeds but sometimes you just can't do it so growing seeds inside um one thing about seedlings in order for them to grow, and I'm sorry, it's raining and this rain feels for like really, really good. I'm not even gonna go inside again and if it doesn't start start to rain harder. But um what you need for your seeds to germinate is you need light, heat and humidity, um, moisture, yeah, and so these and organic matter. And so these are also prime conditions for mold to be a mold and fungus to grow on your seedlings. But when I first saw this white, these white hairs, and I'll show them to you in my, let me just show them to you in, in the tray. So here is the setup that I have. Um, and excuse my parrots. I have two parrots, so they are actually in the same room. So one of them is being really quiet, but the other one, he thinks that I'm talking to him, so he's, you know, kind of chirping back at me. But anyway, if you hear some words, um, random words that he says, just ha ha ha, and he's really with me. Alright, so this is the setup that I have for my first round of fall seedlings. So when I first saw these, I originally thought that it was mold or fungus or something. And I and now that now that I am now that I became a master gardener and I know a little bit more about it, I'm a little bit more experienced. Um, I know that it's white root hairs, and when and a lot of my seeds, I just don't even cover them. So when you're growing your seeds and you're not covering them. Um, their root is exposed and they have these white hairs um, or cilia that actually helps to absorb moisture and these hairs what they do is uh, again they help to absorb moisture of course I tell you I'm sleepy they help to absorb absorb moisture and when they'll see those roots are not it's not covered up you know we just see them and so um, the difference between a fungus or mold then um, the white hairs it's the white hairs they congregate just around the root they're gonna be just around the actual root that you see and there it's bright bright white mold mold is going to be in different on they can be on the leaves the stem you know all over the plant and it can be different colors from brown to gray to blue yes blue green um, and it 
kind of just like spiders out all over your like if you have it in the peat pot it will be all over the peat pot dirt soil everything and not just around the root so that's one way that you can tell the difference between mold and fungus when it comes to um um your seedlings another way is fungus or mold is usually like slimy um i used to get like the green fungus a lot and it will be like slimy and it can actually either have a smell so the white hairs if you see these bright white hairs it's fine don't be afraid that means you have a healthy root system going on and those hairs they cause cilia and they also to help it absorb the um the moisture and so what you can do to avoid these conditions because right now my seedlings are actually in conditions to have mold or fungus i had the dome on it for too long and the condensation just has it really really too wet in there so what you need to do is sometimes remo just remove those domes because sometimes they can make the environment too wet and too hu humid and mold and fungus can actually grow there so what you want to do is you want to remove the dome and let some aeration get up in there let some air get up in there what i usually do is i turned up my thermostat on my heating mat I turned the thermostat on the heating mat, took the so it can um, dry those seeds, those seedlings out faster without actually cooking them or burning them. So I turned it up a little um, and took the dome off and I put a fan in front of it to just let some aeration get in there. Fan and, and wind will let your will strengthen your seedlings anyway, but that's let some aeration get in there. So avoid that with some aeration. What you can also do is before your seeds emerge is the um, peat pots or the soil, whatever, take one gallon of um, water and one tablespoon yes it's very it's a very light solution one tablespoon to one gallon of water and spray the soil with that and that will kill any kind of fungus because those fungus and mold those spores are usually typically already there in the soil before your seeds actually emerge your seeds just kind of give them something to eat because that's what fungus and mold is for is for breaking down things so if you have fungus or mold on your plant it's going to break your plant down it's not going to be healthy for your plant it's going to just break the plant down because that is what the purpose of mold and fungus is is to break things down so i just want to make a really really quick video if you see that white that beautiful bright white on just the roots congregating around the roots it's fine let it do what it's do let it do what it do um it's gonna it's gonna produce a very very healthy plant and as your plant begins to get bigger you will begin to see that root will go deeper into the ground and uh, on the soil and then when you transplant it you'll cover all that up so yeah just let it go ahead and go but if it's another color if it's spidering out from the plant if it's all over the soil as well as the um if it's all over the soil as well as the plant if it's on the leaves and not just the and the stems and not just the root then more than likely you have a fungus or mold and so i would just say just get rid of that because once it's there all it's going to do is continue to break your plant down the more that your plant begins to gain nutrients and photosynthesize it is going to break the break that plant down so it's not going to serve that plant any kind of good purpose at all because like i said mold and fungus they break things down so um but yeah that's pretty much it um yeah that's pretty much it that's all i have to say about this told you was gonna this one's actually is a uh, uh quick video i finally said what i did what i finally said i was gonna do and it's a quick video but thank you so much guys for watching if you have any more tips or any other information or any other questions or any other videos that you would like for me to see you would do any other videos you would like for me to do on this channel please leave a comment down below and subscribe and let's build this whole gardening parroting lock you know just love positive community let's just build it so thank you so much guys for watching and as usual to the loo bye bye